Imagine a corn plant. When we think of where sugars might live in a corn plant, we probably first think of the grain. It's true, the starch found in the grain can be used to make ethanol, livestock feed, and a tasty summer snack. But let's think a little bit harder about that corn plant. Sugars can also be found in all of the other parts of the plant, known as the stover. Similar to the starch in the grain, the sugars in the stover are also chains of glucose called cellulose. That's right, both starch and cellulose are sources of sugar. But unlike the starch, which is easily accessible in the corn kernels, cellulose is located in the plant cell wall and is much harder to access. It may be hard to imagine using cellulose for all of the same things as corn starch, but it can be. It's just a little more difficult. So if it's so much harder to use cellulose, why not just stick with the starch in the corn grain? Well, corn grain takes a lot of time, energy, and money to produce, and it can have a number of negative environmental impacts. By contrast, cellulose isn't only found in corn stover. It is the most abundant molecule on the planet and can be grown very sustainably. It's in grasses, trees, prairie plants, and more. If we found a good way of accessing cellulose, we could use these more sustainable plants instead of corn to make biofuels and other important products. 